rig and other components. One thing that we are dangerously low on is titanium. I think we're getting to a point where we just can't keep using the resources that have already been collected and we need to start thinking about collection. However, one thing that we could do is put down that big old extractor will automatically grab resources for us and it will grab up to I think they said 15 times the number of resources so let's I don't know that quickly is the right word let's build a contraption and I think what we'll do is use this extra large plat C that has nothing on it to say be the foundation of this thing I don't even think we need anything this big, really. Actually, I think we need something that's about that size. And then... Even a smaller one to hold the auto arm. Okay, let's, let's give this a shot. We need an extractor. Oh, another thing. Notice that we are researching one of those really nice research items. I forgot that we had two of them sitting on this little small platform. So we have another one right here. See how it's shaped the same way? That we'll be able to research after this one's done. So that's been giving us good research. You can see that. We're 9,300 and climbing. Let's, let's um, go ahead and unlock the extractor. It's, it's big. It's really big. I also think it's at the top here. Now, we need two steel, tungsten carbide, and rubber. That's not too bad. Let's work on that. Two steel, which means we'll need two carbon and two iron. Oh, I think we're out of iron. See what I mean? See what I mean? We are out of iron. Well, that didn't take long. All right. Let's... Let's do something about that. Let's grab our big rig. That's what I'm calling this thing now. Sounds like a good name. It's loaded with all of our fundamentals. We have hydrazine. We even have an extra medium storage silo. We got a packager on there. We got graphite to make more packagers. I don't need those. No, we have quartz. We need to make a beacon got extra hydrazine on my backpack so I don't fall out of the sky. Let's go get some hematite. So it'd be nice to put an extractor down here too. But we need some to make an extractor, so let's take that back. We'll plug that into our smelter. Iron pretty quick. I'm gonna reach in here and grab it. Tungsten carbide. Obviously we need tungsten. I'm, I'll check, but I, I bet we need just tungsten carbide. Carbon. Tungsten and carbon, yep. And then, do we need rubber? Yeah, so that's organic and resin. So let's grab... We have room. Organic and resin. Yeah, well, I'll need the large printer to make the extractor, so let's get this out of the way. Um, we'll just make it all from right here. No, 
now. I need... I need two more bourbon. I don't think I have it. Maybe it's on... Maybe here if I made some earlier. It doesn't look like it. Alright. Hunting for carbon that's already made. Don't see it. Alright, we'll throw a couple of our organic onto the smelter. Well, looks like we have one. I think our rig may have another one. Oh yeah, rig's over here. I think I put it on there thinking, well, I might need it for later. And that time has come. Yes. Right. Now let's go to Tungsten Carbide. Here it should pop in. Yep. Okay, that's gonna be the extractor. Okay, we're gonna need that. We're going to need an auto arm. Um, is that this guy. Yes. I need. I have graphite. I need a piece of aluminum. Aluminum, please. Titanium. Titanium. Another resource we're getting low on. It's okay. We're about to head down into the caves. Actually, not to get aluminum, but... I saw some heat... Um, laterite down there. So we'll have an auto arm. We're going to need three... Resin. Uh, we don't have enough, so... And then we're going to need a small platform for the auto arm. Um, not sure which size. Again, I need to see what I'm making here. Yeah, I think that'll work. That's one resin. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work, so I'm going to go ahead and make it. Now, I also want to make a large canister. And a large canister is going to use something that we were saving for something else. It needs one of these bad boys, nanocarbon alloy. And I not even I don't think we've even researched it. So, let's take a look at it. To make a large canister, it's right here. Glass, titanium, and the nanocarbon alloy. Yep, that was expensive, and we had just enough research research to do it. Okay, I'm running out of space here. I know there's a medium silo on this rig. I think there is. That's it. Yeah, I'm going through a lot of preparation and I haven't explained myself fully, but it will be worth it, I promise. Just give me a little bit. Nano carbon alloy. And we needed titanium and glass, so we'll need quartz. So small one of these guys. And I need a titanium. Get dangerously low on, that's okay. That's kind of what we're doing this whole thing for. I don't see any there. Yes, could that be? Well, I think that might be our very last titanium. Boy, I hope we don't need another one. Okay. Glass. Titanium. And... Where's that nano? What did I do with him? Where did I put him? Oh my gosh, I just had him. There's a canister right there. Um, do I? I had to have put him maybe on the rig. Is that what I did? I sure did. Why did I do that? I need you, man. What are you doing? 
So to make a large canister, I think we'll need the medium printer. It's kind of the way those things work. No, I didn't want to pick you up. I just wanted to have you make a large canister. Large resource canister. There it is. Now, the nano goes there. Titanium and glass. Alright. Let's see it. So what I want... Yeah. I think we're going to be in business here. to take the rig with us into a cave. <laughs> uh, I got enough juice here to fly around. Medium platform A. I'm gonna need that. Well, I guess the medium platform A is the one I wanted. Now, do I want these? I'm gonna need one of these at least. Yeah, I'm gonna use this big rig to set up a smaller rig in the cave take that with us. I think we'll take the other one, just in case we decide we want this one. Have some options. Um, I have a packed RTG if I need it. Any of those did I make? I put... Okay, I got two RTGs there. Okay. Two on here and then one packed. Okay, that's the five I made. That's good. And then this is the large resource canister. So what we're going to do is go harvest some titanium, I hope. That is the plan. That's why all of this has been put together. Alright, I guess if I need anything else, I can just run right back outside the cave. Now the only way we're going to get down there, hauling this huge platform, is to fly. And I hope that opening is big enough. We shall see. We can squeeze this big behemoth in there. I, I want to say I want to say it'll work. Obviously if I thought it wouldn't work I wouldn't try it but that doesn't mean it is going to work. Can't really see what I'm doing very well. Just kind of hopping down. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, we're not moving at all <laughs> without flying. All right, we're down. Now, there's a titanium deposit real close. I want to say it was over here. It is. Okay. Now, we, I can already think of something I don't have that I'm going to need. Let's go get an oxygenator because it's going to take a little while to set this up. We're going to run out of oxygen in the process of doing that. And that should be on my original rig over here, which is just now left this medium storage. Here we go. Oh my goodness, what happened? I dropped it. See if we can squeeze through over here. And over to our titanium deposit. Sit down there, maybe. Now, the trick's going to be is I've never set up an extractor before. I'm hoping that I could stick it on this wall, or maybe I can just sit it down right here and it'll work. We're about to find out. Oh. Let's just, for now, do that. Pack it. That green bar indicates... Well, there is no green bar anymore. But the green bar should indicate oh, how much resource it can get. You can see it's getting almost nothing. That's not... Uh-oh, that's not good enough. 
let's see if we can start the wall. Do you start the walls? You do. And look at that. There's a good amount there. I like that. So when we turn it on, assuming we can find the power, that's another thing we're going to need. Um, yeah, I don't know where the power... Oh, there it is right there. We're going to need... Well, maybe not. I was going to say we're going to need a power cable. We might get away with... I don't know. I, I think we're going to need extender cables. Alright. Let's get the... I need a platform. I'm pretty sure we bought platforms. Didn't we? Yes, they're over here hiding. Large platform B. Yeah, let's, let's give that one out. And sit him down in a nice spot. So, hmm. do I have that small platform on me? I do. Okay. So, I want to do is I want to have the auto arm so that it can reach here and then reach to what will be the large canister. So, That's what this medium platform A is. It's going to be to put the auto arm on. Okay, so I think the green is the pickup location. The blue is the deposit location. So let's, I guess, turn him. Hopefully that lines up with up there, I think it will. And then this will be where we put we drop off. See I'm running out of oxygen there. Let's get some oxygen. Let's just move the whole rig this way. Kind of right there maybe. So if this is the drop off location, let's unpack that. The drop off location will be the large canister which will fit right in the middle here so let's do this yep that fits large I need the large canister here we go getting there. I'm going to power it with... It takes two to run at optimum efficiency. And actually, this still won't be optimum because each of these RTGs, I believe, is 4U. The extractor requires eight, but the auto arm requires one. And in the auto arm, whether it's working or not, requires one. So we're going to be 1U from complete efficiency, but I, you know, we're pretty close with what we have here. Okay, so I want to, I want to use my extender. Okay, think about the, let go of that. This is just a matter of me I'm starting to remember now. Let's get rid of one of these. You put your extenders on top of your backpack. I can now use my right button on my backpack to put down the extender. You see how I did that? That's kind of the easy way of making your extenders work. Could have put it on the other side and used the left button. So right button again, and then maybe it'll reach this time. Ooh, come on. I'm trying to get so I can see everything. 
Can you reach? You can't. Okay. 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 We'll make it go there. And then... I should be able just to use the extender. Oh, I can't. I can't look up high enough. Come on. Come on. There we go. There. Um... Getting no power. Oh, I know why I'm getting no power. So this guy needs to be hooked up to this guy. Now we have power. And because I did it this direction, the power is flowing this direction. Well, I think I set everything up correctly. By the way, your oxygenator does not need an external power source. I don't know why, but it doesn't. So, yeah, I'm getting oxygen with... Now there's no power on this rig. I think I've set it up correctly. If I did, this big guy, which I will turn on, will start producing maybe one a minute, maybe. And when it does, it'll put the titanium right here on top. Hopefully that is the resource we get. And then the auto arm will grab it and put it on top of the large canister. The large canister canister should suck it in and then there we go we have a titanium extractor which should grab 15 times the normal amount which I don't know if this has 10 normally maybe it has 150 with the extractor which sounds just to me it sounds too good to be true oh no it's going to produce it there I don't know if my auto arm was going to reach all the way over there Oh, he didn't have to. No, my auto arm's not doing anything. Auto arm, engage. Oh, you know, oh my gosh. <sighs> Maybe I should turn it on, huh? He grabbed it. He put it there. Oh my goodness. It's okay. All this auto um, automation is new new to me so I want to watch it do one more and then we're gonna call this thing working we're gonna move on to bigger and better things well I don't know about better bigger things and in theory this thing will be running for what two hours two and a half hours pulling resources and if there is hundred and fifty then this thing's gonna have quite a few titanium in it we won't need titanium for a long time. That's awesome though. We have a little automation working here. Look at that. Look at that. All right. I wonder, should I put a beacon over here? I should put a beacon over here. Why you say? Because I might play another game. And then forget where I put this thing. This will pop up through the ground, I believe. Oh, you know. Maybe I should make the beacon and not just place the quartz. And we'll give it a nice color. Mm. Purple. I like purple. That's awesome. That is so awesome. Look at that. Yes, it's requiring two RTGs, but that's just for a couple hours. And then you can use those RTGs, that whole setup actually, and just move it to another resource. Maybe the next one is hematite, although we kind of already need... No, not hematite. Maybe it's uh, laterite. I don't know. That's exciting. Very exciting. Let's move on. So the idea is that we have large canisters sitting over here with our different resources, with our titanium, with um, our iron, with our, uh, I guess we could do tungsten, but we don't even get tungsten from this planet, so probably not. But any of our other, re we could do one for resin um, and have those all lined up, maybe over there where we had the large, or the extra large platform C earlier. And if we do that, 
that would free up maybe some of these medium storage silos so we wouldn't have such a drain on titanium. Although, we just put down an extractor, which I can hear it working. That's weird. I thought I heard it slam to the ground. I want to see if I can see the beacon. You hear that thump? Yeah. We can hear it working. Alright, I can't see the beacon through the ground. Well, that's not as good. Oh well. It's still okay. We'll be fine. So what I want to do now... Do I want to do that? Yes, I do. Is get a bunch of laterite. And I mean 30. Uh, a whole bunch. And we're going to need a couple medium storage silos. So we might need to combine a couple of these. So that it frees up one for us. Or two. I think we're going to need two. I believe these. Yeah, these hold 24. So we're going to need a full one of these and six more. Let's go ahead and put this on here. Looks like we have the available amount with this right here. So if we take off to Bassania and work on this, by the time we get back, we should have quite a bit of titanium in that large canister below. And maybe we'll make a stop by Atrox as well on the way back and see how much helium we have. We should have quite a bit of that. Let's see, how much do we have here? We have 13. Oh, nice. Yeah, I want to enable the output, but I want to... Oh, let's not wait. Let's grab one. Stay there. Two. Three. Four. Alright, five. And then disable output. Oh! Okay, I was thinking it wouldn't it while I was doing the output, but it totally did. Nice. Very nice. Man, it has 13 already. That'd be kind of like what you'd expect you would hope you would get out of a deposit that size, and it's still going. I didn't even look to see how drained the green bar was from the extractor. Let's take a look. It has barely moved. Nice. We're going to get a lot, which is great. We want a lot. All right. Let's do it. Go into Vesania, get us some lithium. So we left an oxygenator. We left a tether trail. That's good. What is this? Soil canisters. A little bit of power. I'm going to just carry these medium storage silos down with me. And... We have tethers. We have a few tethers here. Let's go check and see what we have. This is nice that we don't have to dig down. We can just follow the tunnel that's already there. I say that like somebody else did this. I just, it's been a long time. You have no idea. Actually, I'm not sure I have any idea either. Compound. More research just have it. What was up here? Lithium. Oh yes, lithium is right here. So that's how that works. Okay, that's six. That's nice. Let's go over here and just offload. Six of those. gonna need another deposit anyway so okay. I see laterite I see quite a bit so this is where 
be where we go. Alright. Do we want to start here? No, a little further. Let's just start with that big... Oh, look at this. Jackpot. Okay, let's go ahead and start making some small batteries because they take a bit. There we go. And what we'll do is let our RTG back there recharge them while we're getting more lithium. So yeah, we're having to wait for some power. That's our beacon. This is the way. Alright. Without our little feathers lit up, lit up, it's not easy to tell. Now, getting out of here is going to be fun. Getting down was just a matter of wiggling. I hope getting back up is the same, but we won't be able to see very well, so... Maybe I can pull this behind me. Oh, I can't see at all. I think maybe like maybe like that. Let's give that a shot. Let's try to get up there. Um no, that's not too bad. Yeah, we'll make it. And that is how you squeeze an extra large platform C to a very tiny gap. Okay, so let's put our batteries and everything back on our rig. Let's go ahead and put you on the shuttle. And let's package up you. Yeah, our research is done. Let's get something in there. This is the only one I think we have available. Okay, don't hit the button. That'll stop it. So there's 1,600. Not a whole lot. It's okay. Um, we didn't need the large platform A earlier. Let's just take this rig and put it on the original one. What we can do is leave that other extra large platform C packaged over there. I mean, we may want it for over here later. Hydrazine, hydrazine. Okay, I do have helium on me. I really I need to move all those gases over to the atmospheric condenser. Definitely considering a place to put the stuff. Okay. You. Come over here. Um, right here would be great. Alright, I think having that will allow us to make five more RTGs. So we're not hurting for power anywhere. Let's, um, let's go check on our extractor that I can still hear pounding away. See how far it's gotten.
Come on, run, run, run. Still looks like it can do quite a bit. And it has 45, 45 titanium. That's awesome. How much can I hold? I can hold some. Let's, four? I can hold four. Let's grab four. Man, it's like a candy machine. Let's go back up. That is awesome. That is working away, and it certainly does look like it's going to produce over a hundred. Which means our titanium worries are done. If we need any more, there's titanium all over there. All around the planet. And certainly not very far from where we just found that. So, I mean, I don't know for sure. I haven't found it, but I do know there's some another level down that I did find, but didn't use because it was so conveniently right there. Alright, um, I need to put some titanium down. Let's grab this one. And I guess we need to switch it with this one. Can I? No. Why won't you just let me switch over here? I wanted to switch. Alright, fine. Fine, be that way. We'll just move this. And then move this. And actually, that looks like it has titanium on it, too. It does. Alright, so much for trying to be organized. Let's just get these four going. Alright, so we're going to do more research next time. But there are... There's one right there. Where my cursor is. That needs power. And there's one... I think it's in this basin in this little valley just over there somewhere. So let's give this a quick little test. We have all 30 batteries sitting on the rig, right? We have two RTGs. That should give us everything we need to open up these exodynamic crates that are based on power. Which means we can open everything on this planet now since it's either power based or needs ammonium for the resource. So we'll get the get the plug really close. This one is going to need just a not a sustained. Yeah, this needs a sustained charge, which we should have. It should pop immediately. There we go. Popped immediately. Got a research pod, research item. Let's go to the other side real quick. Grab the other one. I want to say there was one over here. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, yes. Right here. So now we don't have to pass up on anything. Uh, can we make this reach? Yep. And just like that. That's, what, 7,200 research each? So there's over 14,000 research. And just... A couple minutes. Yeah, it took forever to get there, but from now on, we shouldn't have any problems with research. I mean, the, we may want to wish it was done faster, but we'll at least be researching as fast as we can with having these um, research items, which are the best. And then we could hook up more research chambers, uh, build some more RTGs. We're getting plenty of power here. Of course, the wind is blowing. But even without that, we have two RTGs producing 8U. I want to say research chambers take two. So as long as you're not doing anything else, we could have four research chambers just cranking away at research, and it would not take long to just research everything we needed. Well, it will, but we'll be lacking resources and not research bites. to just cut that out but I think I'm going to stop the stream here guys you'll find it over on YouTube look for Game Explorer, Astroneer I'm sure you'll find it of course over here on Twitch Game Explorer Official, follow me you'll get notified when I'm streaming 
And uh, this will be edited by the time it hits YouTube, so a lot of the other moving around cut out, so this 90 minute stream might be 30 minutes, maybe more, maybe less, but certainly cut out quite a bit of extra running around. You know, the certainly going in between planets will be cut out, stuff like that. Alright, that's it. This is Game Explorer, and we'll talk to you soon.